Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to make your visitors anxiously wait for your emails. And what I mean by that is how to get people actually to look forward to receiving an email from you. So instead of, you know, uh, having people open up their email box and be like, oh no, here's another email from this guy just trying to make money, how can we start getting people to actually want to uh, see what you have to offer, want to, want to hear from you? And one of the things we're going to cover is, is basically how and why we use free content. And the reason why we use free content is a lot about the top of mind awareness because it's very ignorant for us to think that, you know, we're the only list that our subscribers are on of course not there is I mean email marketing is kind of like a war there's a lot of people fighting for the attention of your subscriber just like it would be um, let's say if you were dating you find that pretty girl or that pretty boy but we'll just use a girl in this as uh, this example since I am boy. Um, but you know, you find that pretty girl, and you you wanna you know you're interested. You want her to take interest in you. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of competition. There's other guys trying to go after her. So you need to wind up setting yourself apart in her uh, in her eyes. And how do you do that? You might you know you might send her some flowers. You might send her a gift or send her a couple of things. And that's really not necessarily to get anything out of it. It's just that way, you know, she takes the flowers home and then whenever she's at home during the week when she can't see you, she's thinking about you. Every single time she sees flowers, she starts thinking about you and how much she can't wait to be with you. That's why whenever she sees you, it makes that experience all that much more worthwhile versus just being like one of the other guys out there just trying to, you know, just trying to get something out of it. Let's just leave it like that. So, so what? How does that relate to email marketing? Well, there, you know, bottom line, we do need to make money uh, with our email marketing efforts. I mean, that's the reason why we're all we're all online. I mean, this is hopefully more than a little bit of a hobby for you, but you have to make money, you know, to put food on your children's table, just like me, you know, to you know, uh, to to make that better life, to pay the bills. You have to make money, so you need to, you know, send offers every once in a while. But those offers, to kind of think about it in the dating terms is that is your date. That's your physical connection. That's the time where you get somebody to open up to you and uh, basically hand over a style, a, 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 a pile of cash. So, but, but the thing is, the reason why we use free content, it's kind of like sending a flower or sending a note or leaving a letter. It's just something to, to, to kind of keep our subscribers, even though we're not there, it just kind of keeps them fresh in our, uh, in their mind. It kind of says, Hey, you know, you know, that's, I, I remember, man, they've been sending out a lot of free content, man, this is great. So by the time you, you get around to actually sending the offer, they're actually grateful. They want to show appreciation of things. I know it sounds a little cheap. Easy, but it works. Believe me, I'm like that. You know, I actually judge a lot of the lists that I'm on by, you know, hey, you know, they're sending out some offers. Well, when's the last time I I can remember that they've actually sent something where they weren't asking me just to buy something all the time? When's the last time? And usually if I can't think of a, a recent time where they sent me something, I usually unsubscribe. So that's why we use free content. It's just to really kind of keep um, us fresh in the minds of our subscribers that's what sets it apart so when you know all the other people are out there just trying to get them to buy something and annoying them um they're really going to take notice to the people who are sending out the free content and then you know by the time whenever that person sends an offer chances are they're going to get a lot higher conversion rate and I've said this, you know, uh, I've said this, t you know, hundreds of times that basically if you give away 90% of what you know, um, you'll get rich off of the final 10%. See, a lot of people try to give away 10% and save the 90% to, you know, try to get people to buy it. Um, but, but actually, if you reverse that, you're going to be making a lot more money. If you give away 90% of what you know and you'll literally make a killing off of the final 10%. Why? Because you're developing that relationship. You're getting people to trust you. And, you know, they're going to show their appreciation and want to buy from you. 
So basically the final point before we close is, you know, really don't focus on selling with your email marketing. Focus on making best friends. You see, if, if all you do is treat your email subscribers whenever you uh, create emails, like they're your best friend and you just develop a relationship with them, um, then, you know, the selling is going to handle itself. But if you go out there and do nothing but try to sell to them, you're going to ruin the relationship and you're going to wind up not making any money. So that's it for this video. As soon as you're ready, just go on to the next video.